art uh, should penetrate to to human's heart and I want to penetrate to people's heart and speak to the world. Hello, my name is Sophie Stein and um, I'm an actor and I've graduated from RADA in 2008. Uh, I now have a fully fledged acting career um, and I was supported by Snowden um, throughout my training. Snowden Trust awarded me a grant for my study this year at University College London, uh, which was incredible really because I was in desperate need of it. When I received the grant, I was absolutely overwhelmed. When I opened the letter, I was beyond myself with excitement, literally jumping up and down. I thought, finally, my dream has arrived and this door is opening for me now. I can actually see the future now. And I decided I would really proactively engage in it and learn, which I was really hungry to do. When I've got the grant, uh, I felt very, very happy because I realized that I could now do my work. I myself am severely deaf and going to a drama school is quite a big achievement anyway, for, you know, especially for people with disabilities. But to be a part of such an established uh, institution um, was, there was quite a big pressure to sort of prove yourself. You can speak, but I thought that, I mean, I didn't know. Not many people do. Because of my deafness, it meant that I needed slightly more um, support than your average student. My course is the is Masters in Philosophy at UCL. I wanted to come to, you know, the best place, one of the best places in the world, the best place in the country, really. Um, to study the subject that I'd come to love. My real kind of passion for coming here was because my deep interest is in philosophy of mind um, and specifically in philosophy of language. I'm doing my Master of Music in Composition at the Royal Academy of Music. I've got a disability related to my eyesight. The Academy requires uh, to put on a computer our scores. Every um, year, academic year, we need to submit um, minimum four compositions. And for example, this year, I need to submit a big orchestral composition. It's up to 10 minutes. And it's, you know, just really hard work. And because my eyes are getting really tired. And it, um, I need a special computer. Uprising is a youth development charity that operates across the UK. The programme itself has been absolutely wonderful. I mean, wow, it's been fantastic. I've been so impressed. It's exceeded my expectations. I feel like a window has been opened for me. A typical upriser is somebody who is really passionate about issues around them, but they don't know how to create change. They don't know how to make that change. We had a section on motivational speaking, which was wonderful. Learning how to stand, how to compose yourself, how to walk like a leader, how to influence governments. With Paul specifically, um, he's deaf and he needs interpreters to be able to access our programme. Um, we've done a lot of research and we found that the Snowden Trust um, were one of the few trusts that were actually willing to support an individual case. The value of Snowden is the ability to bridge the gap between um, the state funding, which is obviously capped for quite a lot of disabled students, um, but it's not quite enough to get them to where they want to be. So Snowden allows that to happen. A problem has been government austerity and the cuts that they have introduced to funding. We face barriers everywhere now. Deaf and disabled people have the same experience and it's because the government have reduced how much money is available. Coming to university isn't just an academic uh, enterprise, it's also a social enterprise. 
it's a very normal experience that everyone else has when they're 18 and they're leaving home but also it's kind of a more profound experience for uh, someone in a wheelchair or someone who's blind, someone who's deaf um, because it's the first time that they have actually taken control of their own life and taken the power of living independently and making their own choices, doing what they want when they want. It's an important step in anyone's life and uh, why shouldn't disabled people have that? Snowden strives for equality and allow, allowing people to complete their training so that they're able to be, become independent, um, worthwhile members of society. Because of the nature of my disability, um, you often get put into the top tier of uh, accommodation costs, primarily because you need things like ensuite bathrooms and good locations and things like that. The Snowden Trust was brilliant for that, uh, absolutely brilliant, and I was astounded when I was awarded it. Um, so yeah, I can only be thankful. It's a really great support uh, from Snowden and without having this computer I couldn't uh, just continue my course. I'm so 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 happy about that and now I'm, just, I'm sure that everything will be okay with my studies. Since graduation I've been very fortunate to work in TV and film and stage. If it wasn't for Snowden, um, I wouldn't be where I am, I don't think. Um, I would have had to have pulled out. So they've enabled me to continue, complete and carry on. Um, so I'm really grateful. I think when it comes to Paul, it's definitely one of those watch this space situations. I know he's really, really keen on politics. I know he wants to be a politician and I fully expect to see him there one day and I hope that Uprising and Snowden Trust and Queen Mary's contribution will have had a massive part in that. Hmm. For the future, hmm. If I think about what I want to do, my vision, well, I want to be in politics. And my ambition, my ultimate ambition, is to become Prime Minister. That's what I want. <laughs>